The Seahawks' first preseason game of 2021 is this Saturday, and it's going to be one for the history books. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your preseason week one game preview. Viva Las Vegas. The Seahawks hit the road for the first time ever playing in Las Vegas at Allegiant Stadium to take on the Raiders. Yeah, I've been always it's fun to see the stadiums, you know. It was like watching uh, Field of Dreams last night, you know. It's fun to see those stadiums. Uh, there's always something to them and something special. Everyone's unique. Last year, there were zero preseason games due to the pandemic. This year, there are only three preseason games, unlike years past when players had four games to try and put together a good tape for the coaches to evaluate. Stone, for sure, w would be one of the answers. I'm really interested in seeing Daryl Taylor, you know, because he hasn't played yet, and, and that'll be fun to, to watch him for the first time. And like I've said, he's had such a great prep that um, our expectations are high that he'll, he'll perform well. Those are probably two guys that stand out the most. And there's no pressure, but, you know, this is essentially two preseasons in one. There's a lot of bubble guys guys that are going to be looking to put stuff on tape and uh, you know I think that's the beauty of this culture is to you just go out there compete and be your best right there's no there's no rhyme or reason to be nervous because everyone is such an elite player that you just go out there and put it on tape and if you know there's not room here there's room otherwhere so it's a big big opportunity because there wasn't preseason last year for not just the rookies but you know kind of year two bubble guys to go and make an impact and and try and find their foot in the, in the nfl there are several position groups that are hard to evaluate until you're in a real game situation one of those being special teams making these next three preseason games crucial for special teams coordinator larry izzo it's it's really important obviously you know they're out there competing right now on the practice field for those opportunities and then you know in the game you know there'd be limited opportunities but you want to take advantage of each one because they're competing for roster spots here they're trying to carve out roles for themselves in our phase which will help them you know stick on the roster and so you know that's the great thing about training camp here is it's an open competition everybody's out here you know working hard to understand what we're looking for and then it's going to create opportunities for them you know the better they do you know, so that they can show up in the game you know, and take advantage of it, hopefully. Yeah, all the run and hit now. Here we go. You know, th this is this is where the valuations really become real. We, we can we've evaluated this portion of, of, of the work, but now we got to go out there and run and hit. And, and uh, so to get a chance to see our guys cut it loose and do the things that we're asking them to do and see how they, you know, do they transfer the learning that I'm really what I'm most anxious to see is what they've shown us. Do they show us in the game? You know, can they carry it over? And, and so that's uh, who can we count on and, and all that. Pay close attention to special teams. It's a place where players can separate themselves from the rest of the pack and earn a spot on the final roster. I mean, that's the way you make a team. You know, if you're, if you're not an early draft pick or if you're not drafted at all, man, special teams is where you can make your money. There's a lot of guys in the league right now who just only are on the team only for special teams. So uh, that's where you can you can make some good money, you know, playing special. There's nothing wrong with it either, you know. You only get one play to show what you can do, and that's really a, a blessing right there. You can, you can do something with just one play, and everybody else needs, like, what, five, seven plays to drive, you know. So it's, it's, it's really key, you know, making a team. Defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr. will have a lot to measure when it comes to the defensive backs. With 17 DBs, it's a crowded room that will need thinning out over the next few weeks. Without the full speed hitting, it's all about technique and speed. And, uh, and skill and uh, working together. It's, it's not about the, the physical side of it because uh, before we put the pads on, we were pretty much were not able to play on the ball. You have to let the ball uh, go to the offense. Now we can make plays on the ball. And you see a lot, uh, a lot more interceptions, a lot more pass breakups and things like that. So it's, for, for the defense, it's uh, more like real football now. We can make plays on the ball. And of course, we can't forget about the offense as 12s will finally get a small glimpse at what the Seahawks offense will look like under offensive coordinator Shane Waldron. I give a lot of respect to Shoddy. You know, he put together a great offense last year, but it is new. It's different. So there's <clears throat> there's new tools that, you know, I learned and it's, it's fun to have those out there. And, and Russ has new tools available. And um, obviously with Andy coming in, there's new old line stuff that Solari is implementing. And so, you know, really, it's going to look a lot similar. It's going to look a lot different. And, and it's just like, you know, how much can we add? How much can we grow? And um, the beauty of it is there'll be a lot of smart guys and then a lot of veteran, good veteran guys that are kind of taking it and, and implementing it into our offensive schemes. This year's offense is uh, it's complex. You know, you have to be really focused. You're not guys are going to be running past your face, you know, and, um, and you can't really anticipate what's going to happen. Russ is getting the ball out fast. Titans are getting open. DK is getting open even. DK, like all the all these guys are really getting open, it's, and it's like stuff is just hitting you quick. You know, they get to the they get to the ball real quick. It's not silent counts, all that stuff.
with several new faces on the roster, both veterans and young players alike are eager to get their first preseason game with their new team under their belt. That's exciting, you know. It's, it's been a long time without fans, and I know they're ready to be there, and we're ready to see them too. I'm definitely excited um, just to get out there with these guys and compete and put the, put the work that we've done and the communication that we've worked on in camp and put it to work. Not only is there a change when it comes to the amount of preseason games, there's also a change when it comes to roster cuts. Pete Carroll and his staff will have to make their first round of cuts by 1 p.m. Tuesday, August 17th, reducing the roster from 90 to 85 players. Well, kickoff for Saturday's game is set for 6 p.m. You can watch it live on Q13 Fox, or if you're in the Washington area, you can catch it on Seahawks.com or the Seahawks mobile app.